everyone, Ivy League Gaming here, and today we're playing Watcher of Realms. For today's video, we're going to do a hero guide on one of our newest heroes, Razak. The finest blood for the most untainted soul. So this fella here has honestly surprised me. I... Didn't quite expect him to be so good for some reason. I guess I've been distracted by the shiny of arrogance, who's like jack of all trades and amazing in everything he does. Um, and then, of course, we have Captain Rev, who is a duo, a bond pair with Razak as well. And I think be between the two, I was just I was just all arrogance or Captain Rev. Those are the banners, and I kind of forgot about poor Razak over here. But he's actually got a really good kit, and he surprised me in some content. He's quite versatile as a piercer and just a, yeah, really really good hero. He's got AOE attack as a marksman and great burst damage. So one thing they've really strapped with Void Rift, one of our newest content on the global servers, is that burst damage is going to be key, especially for... I mean, I want to say all of the fights, let's be honest. The bosses need quick burst damage to take them out. They say that for the first boss, Queen Tarantula, and they say it for the final boss as well. I mean... That guy needs some quick damage, and he can definitely help with that if he's a main DPS unit. So let's first take a look at Raza here. He is just so fun. I do want to give a quick disclaimer, guys, that I am on the test server. Not to be confused with the Forerunner server or the global servers. This is a separate testing space for limited content creators to provide resources so we can try out different team comps, test out the new heroes, and showcase them before you guys decide to pull so you can pick and make an educated decision. Or once you've got them, just kind of have an idea of where you want to play around with them. Maybe some will surprise you. So this is not my real account, but hey, I'm having fun and I'm working on it. Please bear in mind that I don't have perfect gear yet. It's something I'm farming for, but I'm trying my best to improve the account over time. I love his graphics. They did an amazing job. He looks gorgeous. I mean, just look at him, right? All right, but let's take a quick look at his kit and we'll, then we'll talk about, yeah, all the things. <laughs> he has been fun to play with though so far. So we have Ocean's Clutch. Deals 1,000% damage to enemies in range. 1,000. That's a lot bigger than I'm used to seeing. I hear I'm thinking like 700% is great from like Arrogance or someone. 1,000. That's pretty solid. Great, great stuff. Um, his basic attack is AoE damage to multiple enemies, 120%. Soul Surge passive after Ocean's Clutch ends enhances the hero's talent, increasing the generation chance of soul eating fish upon each attack by 40% and its quantity by 2. This effect lasts for 12 seconds. So soul eating fish attacks one enemy with the highest HP percentage remaining, dealing 200% damage. So this is really nice. You know that when the boss pops up, this is going to help target the boss to take it out quick instead of the side ads, right? That's a really nice little passive there. All right, so soul hunting. Within 25 seconds of deployment, each kill generates two soul-eating fish. Afterwards, triggers one time every 20 seconds. So there we go with that as well. And his passive, XP Mastery, XP obtained through battle is increased by 5%. So much like our limited event-only hero, Captain Rev, he has a special bonus for farming. Of course, the pirate gives us gold, and well, the fish gives us experience. And he has a bond skill going along with him as well. If you obtain Captain Rev to unlock uh, the following hero bonus here, experience gain, 5%. So just like 
the double gold, you can get double the experience while farming. If you get both characters, that's kind of crazy. It really makes me want to summon on both banners, although I really don't think that's going to be possible regarding the current events happening, but we'll talk about that in another video. So his talent here, every basic attack has a 30% chance of generating two soul eating fish. So I think that's just the little tentacles, right? There's some really cool stuff that happens, or is that just that's his ultimates the tentacles? Okay, the ultimates the tentacles. It gives you a little bit of trauma from some of these enemies in these stages, right? Oh god. But hey, he can be the one on your side with the annoying tentacles, at least. Let's check out his awakenings, though. So we have behind my head here, for every kill, soul hunting, duration plus two seconds. So that's really good. Extra time for every kill. Attack increased for his second. His third awakening, soul eating fish will inflict slow. Increased crit rate, and then Ocean's Clutch has a 25% chance of triggering two times. So 1,000% damage to enemies in range. Um, the slow might also make you think of, and the fact that he's sort of a fish in the same, I mean, all these ocean creatures, he might sound a little bit like Maul, or like a legendary version of Maul, but I'm gonna tell you, my Maul kicked his butt in some content, although his gear might be a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I had some fun. I actually did some stuff using both of them. And I did see a bunch of people in randomly in Discord. With, when everyone's talking about Razuk, they kind of compare him to Maul, it seems. I saw that multiple times over the past few days. So I'm sure if you're a fan of Maul, you're going to be a fan of this guy. He's got really good range as well, just like Maul. So they are wonderful to use in Gear Raid 3. Gear Raid 1 as well. Those are kind of the, my favorite places I wanted to try them out. And obviously, because of his bonuses with the XP increase, he's going to be really great for those XP raids, like the gold raid and the XP raid. You're going to want to use him in there if you have him just period, regardless of if he's built or not. He's just going to give you a bonus, right? All right, so um, let's take a look at using him in some content. But first, I'll show you my gear. So I don't have a crazy build on him. I got 92% crit rate, only plus 81% crit damage. Like, people have crazy crit damage. I mean, I'm seeing 300, 400% crit damage. I'm sure that's there's even more for some crazy accounts out there. But that is just not something within my means. With pretty basic gear, I'm very limited on my gear here. So we're trying to make do. Plus 7,000 attack is pretty solid here. I have him with an attack bonus. Crit damage bonus and attack bonus here with a little bit of crit rate and attack extra stuff thrown in here as well. And he does have a crit rate set over here. But again, nothing is crazy rolls. No fancy ancient gear with crazy rolls. No um, yellow bar amazing rolls. I, have, I don't know what that looks like on this account yet. So it, it's been interesting trying to do... Um, showcases on heroes when I don't when my gear is probably the same or worse than my real account but I'm trying to farm we're just not really getting lucky yet so so over time as I improve my test server account and I'm able to farm for the highest level of gear I will try to push these characters to the max and really see what their potential is but right now it's just not possible. So I'm trying to keep it just more relatable. And honestly, what I'm doing is farming the stages that my account is personally at for the most part, maybe a little bit beyond even, um, and they're doing a better job. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys Razak in some content and he is so good. We're gonna use him with, as I said, Maul here, who's not in crazy gear. We're also going to be using Iona a little bit, and we're going to bring in Osiren, who is also on the banner with Captain Rev. We're even going to bring in Sole, who's on the banner with uh, Razak and Arrogance. And I don't have a Oleg to throw in there, so that is what it is. Um, I did end up building a Dolores with some attack-focused gear, and we're still using Mari at only level 50. That's it for her. Uh, that's kind of the core of what we're using for the teams I'm going to show you. 
So I figured I would click that first, but yeah, I'm really, really loving it. It's ha I'm having fun trying out these new heroes ahead of time, so it helps me decide who I'm going to summon for as well, let's be honest. But let's go ahead in here. So first I'm going to show you my gear raid 3. I think I'm just going to play the level 16. I felt like level 16, I think, is the one that I'm at right now. I know I'm on the one where you can get some mythic, um, sorry, ancient mythic gear, but not like a ton not like stage 18. Stage 18 is hard and I feel like I need to get my gearing options a little bit better before I can really push there or if I want to do team accounts but like I'm really pushing to the max. So again we're using a very budget friendly account or team here. This is meant to show I'm trying to showcase these heroes with relatable stuff. Like if that one hero is the amazing hero you pull how can you make them work with a bunch of epics? So he's the only legendary that I'm going to use for this. And it's pretty fun. Um, Maul's really going to shine. My Maul's a beast. He's having... I cannot wait to get him better on my real account. I love him. I even used Osiren and Sole, although they're not exactly the main, um, <laughs> I guess, the main DPS, let's be honest. They definitely help clean up a little bit, but... Maul and Razek are going to steal the show here. So I actually turned off the boost just so I could kind of show you. Oh, what? It still does it? I swear, I didn't I just turn it off? It doesn't let you do it. Okay, never mind. Well, it's fine. I'm just going to show it so you could see the layout and how it worked. And we can kind of show the damage. I had a lot of fun with this. So I put Razek up on the front and then Maul facing forward as well. So both of them have really good range and they can stretch and reach the boss pretty much as soon as she pops out. We can just start attacking her right away. And then I put Iona going across the board on the bottom there to just help cover as the AoE, like, or as the AoE, as the multiple enemies start rolling in. I have a Vortex down there to start healing. And then I put Osiren on the other side, kind of to duplicate and cross over Iona. And I'm actually not placing anybody on the other pads to the side to take out the enemies ahead of time. We're just kind of dealing with them the second they start moving. And I couldn't believe how good this actually was with such a mediocre team. Um, we put in Sole down there at the bottom and Dolores is, is spinning. Just keep spinning. Dolores is spinning her life away. And Maul and Razak are just going to clean house. And then they have the backup of Osiren. Iona and Sole to yeah be their backup they're gonna they're gonna clean up any leftovers <laughs> that's the goal clean up any leftovers so they're not gonna be doing a ton of damage because by the time the enemies get into their range they're mostly dead they're just kind of there for that extra final kill shot which they definitely do so I'm really glad I decided to throw them in here it's kind of a fun way to use some heroes that we don't normally use so here we go, final little round, right? Boom, 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 smash, smash, both sides, bam, easy clap. And this is stage 16, which is, this is a pretty hard gear raid. Gear raid 3 is tough. It's such a marksman check. If you have Setram, he's just a monster for this, but not everybody has him. And I kind of wanted to not let another legendary steal his show. The whole point was to showcase Razak. Um, but you know what? Maul. <laughs> Maul's a freaking beast. Maul is just as good. Although, my, like I said, my gear's a little better for Maul in the sense of crit damage. I have higher crit damage on him. But I do have, like, a curse set on Razak. And I think I have a wisdom set on Maul. So they're in different gear. Iona barely had to do anything. Same with Osiren and Soleil, just like I said. But they're just there to help. And then I used Ain and Asolde for the Lord bonuses. But they never needed to get placed. So that was a really fun team. Now, I actually want to go in and do a gear, gear Raid 1 with you guys as well. I think that's another fun place to show him. I think I'm going to do this one manually because I want to change the team a little bit. So I think I was trying to... All right, he didn't even get used. So I want to go in with Ain to boost Iona. And then we have a Soul Day for all of these Northerners. <laughs> so pretty much the same team, right? But with a Mari in here, I think Mari is super, super like sleeper for how good she is in this gear raid one to slow down the enemies and just or freeze them. So where they're just 
stalled. You know, they're 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 crowd controlled. They can't keep hitting and attacking that wall and or your or your um allies that are close to the edges. So let's go ahead in here. We're gonna go in with him first and cross over. And then we're going to go in with Maul and do the same thing. You could go on the other side, but because we're using Dolores, I want Dolores to boost both of them. So Dolores is going to come in here and boost both of them, like I just said here. Smash, smash, boom, boom. I probably should have waited, but I'll wait for another one. All right, let's use Mari on this side because it's less important for her to get a damage boost from Dolores. She can be here. And I'm going to bring in Iona as well. All right, Dolores can boost Maul. Boom, boom. And let's bring in Iona for the front to give some damage. And she's also being boosted by Dolores. And then we're going to definitely need some protection. So I'm going to actually... I'm going to bring in Lightlock here. Whoops, not there. Here. So I can put Osiren in front of him. Lightlock's got great range. So he can help to heal Mari. He's going to provide a little extra... And we're going to just blast all of their ultimates. I'm not even worried about my perfect timing with Dolores. It's still honestly really wonderful and a great surprise. So that freeze just really comes in handy with Dolores. Or sorry, with Mari. I love it. I really need to use her more on my real account. All right. Now Osiren come in, can come in for some extra help as well. All right. Dolores is ready. So let's go. Let's go. Let's pop. Let's freeze. and. Do all the things. Good job, Mari. Iona, go. I am so surprised. This is stage 18 of Gear Raid 1, and the only legendary in here is Razak. I didn't even bring... Actually, I did bring in Valk, because you guys know how much I love Valk. Um, but I ended up taking her out because I felt like it was a little bit of a cheat code because she does, like, double the damage because she's just a monster. But look at how easy this was. I'm not... Oh, I have the boost on right now. Shoot. But I just realized I have the boost on. I apologize, guys. But yeah, I, I did this with the exact team. I just changed the Lord. But it's so fun. It's so good. This is the only annoying part is at the very end, the delay here is so annoying. Um, Of waiting for those guys to come around. They get stuck in the corners. You're like, bro, just hurry up and get over here. All right, that's exactly what my last run looked like. But I wanted to do this one with you guys just to really show how good this team is. It's so fun. I cannot believe how good this team is. Look at this. A level 50 Mari just helping to slow and freeze. And using Osiren as extra help. Um, Razak and Maul are the main DPS. And Dolores boosting. And honestly, Iona is a beast. So, oh yeah, she's the main DPS. <laughs> Iona is a beast. Look at Iona. Iona, Maul, and Razak. Um, again, my Razak is probably in slightly less gear than my Maul, and it shows. It also depends on my timing with Dolores. Sometimes I was boosting um, everyone except Razak, so that was actually kind of... I feel like every time I did Razak's um, ultimate, I was not timing it with Dolores, so that hurt his overall damage. But yeah, I do have him just in a curse set with pretty low crit damage overall, so I could benefit a little bit more. Um, probably from a different set I might want to try with him. Or like the AoE set, like the one that I would normally put on Valk. But my Valk isn't even in a great set. So you can just see how good. I mean, I have him in a Wisdom set. Or, or sorry, Night Terror set. Which definitely helps. He's got really good crit damage. So he does a little bit more damage. So that makes sense. And same thing with Iona. Iona here, um, I have her in the AoE damage set. Which is very good for any of them. But I'm so loving Razak. But I guess let's quick talk about the other areas he's going to be good. Um, and I'm loving using some of these people I would have never used before. Wait, where is? There it is. So anti-air and AoE are going to be perfect for him. AoE DPS, he's just so good for it. I could, I mean, there's kind of no point to show it. It's low level again. And he's just going to destroy, place him first, and he just starts hitting everyone. He's really good. Um, can certainly work him into the, any of the arenas where you need some AoE. Uh, when it comes to the raids, of course he's going to be great in his promotion raid. Guild boss is not going to be really needed. Artifact material raid, not going to be the thing either because there's really no point to place him. You would place someone else probably on that podium if you're looking for DPS. 
And by someone else, I mean a poisoner like Cuke. <laughs> of course, it can be used in Tide in the Faction Trials. And again, remember, he gives the XP bonus, so he's really good for these raids here as well, where you get XP. And then he has the special bonus with Captain Rev as well to have even more XP boost or him to have even more of a gold boost. But yeah, I'm really loving him. And I almost forgot to go on my Bucket's website like usual. So let's check out his tier list. Make sure you're subscribed to him on YouTube and follow his awesome resource. It's so helpful. But let's see what he has to say about Razak. Razak is a piercing and damage area nuker who is often compared to Maul. His auto attack has a very slow interval, but when built around his ultimate's massive burst damage and used in combination with Dolores, he can become incredibly useful. His range also allows him to be useful in areas that most heroes struggle. He has that wonderful range just like Maul, so like I said earlier, the comparison makes a bit of sense, and if you get his awakenings, he can slow as well. But yeah, he's he's really good. Let's see how he ranks him. He gives him, let's see, let me go higher so you can see it better. We've got A's across the board and S's as well. Only a couple low for the logical stuff, like single target, he wouldn't use him, or artifact, he just wouldn't use him either. But he is definitely great for gear raid 3 absolute monster just like maul honestly um and well of course the gold and experience one he's going to be an s plus as well because of that xp bonus just part of his passive anti-air arena is also a, certainly a strong point so love that as well um i'm surprised he puts him a b plus for void rift because void rift really does seem to call for burst damage but maybe it's a little bit too tricky trying to Pair him with Dolores in some of those waves because you're limited on heroes. So maybe he falls off a little bit there, but I could certainly see him doing well. But yeah, I really loved him for gear raid one. He honestly surprised me there. I might give him a little bit higher there as well. At least an S minus, S minus maybe. I don't know. A plus is still pretty solid on this tier list. So nothing bad to be said there. A really good hero and I'm sure it would be great for anybody's roster. I think this was a really fun find. I'm actually really excited to do summons this weekend now. Personally, I've had terrible luck with the two times events. I've had better luck with the 10 times, so I don't care. I'm going all in, having some fun with some summons for this weekend. I just have to decide if I'm going to pull for Captain Rev or not. <laughs> but yeah, we're, that's the hard part, right? Can we hit the minimum to guarantee a captain and try to get the other characters as well? It's going to be an interesting decision, but we'll talk about that, as I said, in another video. And I'm so happy with all of the testing I'm doing so far and using some characters to help out that I wouldn't have used normally. He's free with the event. And yeah, just even taking advantage of someone like Iona that's pretty easy to get. She's the low spend option uh, and she's jiggly. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was fun and helpful. And I'll see you in the next one.